And welcome back to the show right here on The Fan. My name's Mark. It's Thursday, and it's time finally to talk some Manatees baseball here in 2014. First pitch is line. Diving as Macias knocks it down. It deflects to Rivera. Long throw. He got him. Swing and a high drive deep to left field. This one is way out of here. Halfway up the light tower in left field. A two-run home run for Cameron Garfield. The T's have their lead back. It's 7-5. to five. It's time to talk Manatees baseball right here on the Mark Moses Show. Oh, I'm excited for this. Joining us here on the Club 52 Hotline, my good friend, the voice of the Brevard County Manatees. His name is Dave Wakovic, and you can follow him on Twitter, at Wakovic. And we're here to talk some Manatees baseball. Home opener tonight. Dave, how are you doing today? Doing well, Mark. How are you doing? Hey, I, I got no sleep last night because I kept waking up, and I'm like, man, we got a new season. We're going out to the ballpark. It's going to be a lot of fun. How about you? You ready for a new season of uh, Manatees baseball? Absolutely. I couldn't sleep either, actually. That's funny. But uh, <laughs> opening day is always exciting. Uh, no matter how long you've been in the business, opening day, it never really loses its pizzazz. And uh, we're excited here at Space Coast Stadium to be back here with the Brevard County Manatees. Opening night's going to be awesome. Uh, you know, we're going all out with, with fireworks, free admission. Uh, all we ask is a donation to our Brevard County Manatees Foundation, uh, which, which helps out the Boys and Girls Club and a couple other nonprofits here in the area. So we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Daytona Cubs are in town. And and uh, that's, our, that's our rival, so why not add a little bit more flair to it? You're absolutely right. 6.35 with the first pitch. I'll be out there. you got to come out and say hello at the concourse and then go watch the Manatees, like Dave said, take on the Daytona Cubs. And before we get to the new season, um, let's talk about you and me. We are going to do this every single week here on the Mark Moses Show, our weekly Bavard County Manatees segment, talking about the team, coaches, everything, big giveaways you're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing a ticket giveaway for all the home games in 2014, so you got to listen to the Mark Moses Show. But, Dave, i got to ask you, how excited are you to talk some manatees here on my show? Ah, so pumped. You know, you and I have known each other for about a year now, and have gotten pretty close, and we've never really had a chance to talk about a new season. So I'm really excited uh, about the manatee season and and to be on the show as a regular. Um, So I'm really glad to be a part of it, and I thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, good stuff. Before we get to the new season, which will kick off tonight, what about last season, 2013? You saw the team day in and day out. What were your thoughts on the 2013 campaign for the Manatees? It was a really exciting season. Uh, in fact, the, the way that minor league baseball is set up at this level, at the advanced state level, the season split into two halves. And uh, the division winner from the two halves goes to the playoffs. Well, the Manatees lost the first half by half a game, oh. L- literally half a game. Uh, so that was really exciting to be a part of kind of the, the pennant run, the division race. Uh, kind of fell off a little bit at the end of the year, you know, how it works. Some guys get promoted, and the, the rest of the team just didn't really perform that well. But uh, it was still an exciting year, finished 66-68, and 68, but we're hoping for a much better season on the field this year with the kind of prospects we have in town. Good stuff. We're here with Dave Wakovic, voice of the Brevard County Manatees. And yeah, home opener kicks off tonight, 630 against the Daytona Cubs. And let's talk about the coaching staff. We'll start with them, then we'll get to the players. What are your thoughts on this Manatees coaching staff? You know, we'll start with the manager and pitching coach. We'll go all over. What are your thoughts on this staff? Well, Joe Ayrault returns for his third year as manager of the Manatees. He's a really good guy and a really good manager. He's he's a player's manager, absolutely, uh, through and through. So he'll be leading the charge again, and and he's already won a couple uh, titles at at the lower levels, so he looks to bring that success here to Brevard County again. Pitching coach is uh, Dave Chavaria. He's a a guy who wasn't here last year, but I've heard just so many good things and uh, another good clubhouse guy he'll keep the pitching staff in order um and and he's really been around these guys for a few years now in the brewers organization so he knows his stuff ned yost returns uh as a a coach he was a hitting coach last year and he'll be uh helped out by reggie williams who's an old major league guy who's a kind of a speedster so he'll help out the base pass on the base pass with some of these uh guys at the top of the order but top to bottom all four coaches uh and then you get the trainer tommy craig and jonah mergen the strength guy are back all four coaches and then those two guys, really veteran guys that will bring a lot to this team. What about the team? I mean, you look at the 2014 roster. I was looking at the Manatees website. Baseball America ranks, what, eight of the 30 are on this current Manatee squad. I mean, how loaded are the Manatees here in the new season? 
ridiculously loaded. This is uh, the best team I've seen here in Brevard County the past three or four years. You have guys like Tyrone Taylor. Just look at the outfield, Mark. Tyrone Taylor, number two prospect in the organization, is in center. Victor Roach, number five prospect in the organization, is in center or left field, rather. And then in right field, you have a guy, Michael Reed, who – uh, just has been hitting the ball all over the place the last two years. So uh, it's a really loaded outfield. You have guys in Yadio Rivera and Orlando Arcia who are going to be up the middle. They'll kind of rotate at short and second. Best defensive players I've seen live in my life uh, at, at any minor league level. Just ridiculous. Joe Aralt, the manager, said that it's going to be the best double play combination he's ever seen ever, and he's been coaching for 10 years now. Oh, so I like that. It's, it's going to be really awesome to see those two guys work together up the middle, and uh, the offense is going to be really, really good this year. You talk about Taylor, uh, number two prospect in the organization. What type of player is he? Speedster, power? I mean, what can fans expect from this guy? Hey, he really has it all. He's one of those just really raw athletes uh, that, you know, when he puts it all together, he's going to be on his way to the major leagues. But he's a guy in center field who covers as much ground as anybody else that, you know, at this level. He's he's really, really fast, but he has uh, really good gap-to-gap power. And, and if he gets a hold of one, you know it's tough at this stadium to get a ball out. Yeah. But if he, if he gets a hold of one, he's a guy that can hit 10 to 15 homers. He's, he's a leadoff guy, uh, so he relies on his speed. But he's got a little pop in him, too. We're here with Dave Wachovic, voice of the Brevard County Manatees. Opener is tonight. First pitch, 635. Free admission, but yeah, you got to give a donation. They're asking, they're hoping you give a donation for tonight. And there are fireworks, Thirsty Thursday, a lot going on at Space Coast Stadium. And is there a guy in this lineup, and I'm putting you on the spot here, Dave, is there a guy in this lineup that that doesn't get enough love that, that Manatees fans should really be looking out for? Uh, I think it's it's Cameron Garfield. He's a guy that was here last year, uh, was an All Star, and then you know, keep, people kind of might have forgot about him towards the end of the year. He just crushed it in spring training. It seemed like every time I looked at a box score out there in Arizona, mm. he had like three hits. So he's back. Uh, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he's not here for very long because he gets promoted to double A if he has a hot start. But he's going to be plugged in right in uh, the third slot in the order, it looks like, playing catcher. And he's a guy to really look out for at the beginning of the year. And if he gets hot, he might not be here very long. Let's switch gears to the pitching staff. I know we are talking hidden right there. But, hey, if you need pitching, maybe the Manatees got it. And the guy to ask is this guy on the phone right now. We're here with Dave Wachovic, voice of the Manatees. What are your thoughts on this uh, very young pitching staff? It is very young. You, you hit it right on the uh, on the head there, Mark. Tyler Wagner's the guy. He's a righty. He's going to get the start tonight on opening day. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean he's the number one, quote unquote, in this uh, league. But he is a, a top twenty prospect. He's actually ranked sixteen. Good, really uh, good stuff. Works off his fastball. Kind of a sinker baller type guy. Jed Bradley's another guy. He was a first round pick. Uh, he's here for a third straight year, so this is really an important year for him. He's trying to get up to the next level. So those are two guys to keep an eye on at the top of the rotation, and the rest kind of just fall into place. Uh, you got have guys like Hobbs Johnson in there, uh, and really it's top to bottom. Damian Magnifico is a guy that throws about 98. So top to bottom, it's a really good starting five. Hobbs Johnson, that's the coolest name. That's uh, awesome. Hob- his name is. Does he have the coolest name, Hobbs, on the team? I'm just trying to think here. Uh, I think. I think so. Uh, he's my favorite. Yeah, you can't. Alfredo, Orlando, those are pretty good. But no, I'm sorry, Hobbs. That guy. Can we get his jersey? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Big number 10, I'll give it to you. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Now, here's the thing. You're coming out to the ballpark, and you were talking about the team right there, pitching, hitting, catchers as well. But if you've never been out to the ballpark, you're there every day. I see you when I come up there to Space Coast Stadium. Why should people come out? I mean, you're the pitch man now. Why should we come out to the stadium and see the Manatees? It's just a tremendous atmosphere. Uh, there's so much to do. Of course, the game is fun, but there's so much else to do to take in kind of the sights of the ballpark. Uh, just be involved in, in a game. If you never come out to a game, you're really missing out. Uh, the specials, especially tonight with the Thirsty Thursday, for those who uh, like to have a drink or two, are really can't really match it anywhere mm-hmm. else but just the exciting atmosphere of being at a ballpark especially on opening night uh, there's really no reason that everybody here shouldn't be out here tonight because one it's free two uh, you have the thirsty thursday deal and and three baseball's back on the space coast and it's going to be really exciting and everybody in the crowd's going to be excited around you and it's really something you can't get anywhere else uh, in brevard county 
Good stuff indeed. You're absolutely right. What about the um, the giveaways for 2014? Can we have any little hint? Because I'm seeing, you know, 18-inch corn dogs at the Major League level, and Sunday's the size of my head. Are we going to have any crazy, like, Mr. Potato Head type giveaways, something like that? <laughs> hey, that's uh, that's we'll leave that for you to come experience when you come out to the ballpark. How about that, Mark? <laughs> You're absolutely right. We're here with Dave Wagovic, voice of the Manatees. All right, real quick. You take on the Daytona Cubs. Aren't they the defending champions here in the league i mean how good are the cubs yeah they uh they won it all last year they had a loaded team they had guys like uh javier baez chris bryant uh all these guys that could just really mash the ball fortunately for the mantis those guys are gone in double a or above so uh the cubs are, are reloaded they're led by albert amora who uh it was like a top five pick a couple of years ago, so he's coming up now. Still uh, have some guys that can hit the ball, but uh, I think the Manatees, it's going to be a good matchup. It's the I-95 rivalry. Uh, these two teams always play really good games, but I think, honestly, the advantage has to go to Brevard County. All right, 635 with the first pitch. You got the game tonight, and then what's the schedule here to start the season? Yeah, it's a back-and-forth kind of thing with Daytona. Home tonight, on the road in Daytona tomorrow. Back home for some more fireworks on Saturday at 635. And then the team will hit the road, unfortunately, for a week. But uh, we'll be back in right around the middle of April. Good stuff. You can hear this man all season long on the call for the Brevard County Manatees. His name is Dave Wakovic, and you can follow him on Twitter, at Wakovic. We're going to have him on all season long talking Manatees baseball. Dave, appreciate all your help. Good luck on the new season. And I'll see you out there at Space Coast Stadium tonight. All right. Sounds good, Mark. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Dave coming on the show. Always love getting him on to talk some baseball, especially Manatees baseball. But coming up next, right here on the show, we're going to wrap it up with What's on Tap, live from Space Coast Stadium.